They bought the land we understand with card cash fair and square, but as they are not English folk they cannot build their own park there. On the land that they themselves own, a uh, blockade blocks the road, Times of supplies for drainage and ancillary works, so they don't camp on the road. For their town is picturesque and in the heart of old England. The truth is, if you're not white English and Protestant, your skin they cannot stand. In small villages and at fairs they will go to church on Sunday, pomptious, righteous and proud, and boast how successful they are, how the gypsies were not allowed to build a proper park on land they own by proper English folk. And as I read the comments of one, I thought how criticism it is the cloak. I live in an English house that for some hundreds of years did stand, built by Irish hands for English folks, upon stolen land. Like today it's a hobby with a lot of people and the people dispossessed by Cromwell and the Connacht they could not go Joseph and have walked the roads years since, the same hatreds they know. England is equally country. safe for all as long as you're white, British and Protestant, then you enjoy every right. But should you be not so, alas, no rights there is there for you to be as bold as to buy your land. What a thing for a gypsy to do. People like James Connolly. You cannot camp upon the road, the locals don't like the stranger. Your children are running wild, they are a source of danger. You are the least of God's children and for you they do not care. They wish you did not exist, we're not among them or elsewhere. The glory of the beauty of England, but hate is in their heart. Pretty houses hate hateful minds, keep them from me apart.